Here we go, here's how to do get your chain perfectly clean. Thumbs up if you like real videos. Thumbs down if you want to see corporate fake, pretentious corporate crap. Anyway, here we go. This is my uniform. This is a rag. This is a cassette we prepared earlier. That's pretty clean, isn't it? This is a cassette currently being used. This is a chain. Look at how clean that is. Alright, that's how clean the chain should be. Alright, you can just go, there you go, it's a little bit of dirt on there. And uh, cassette, so yeah. This is an outdoor bike, so it gets a bit corroded, etc. But, you can sort of see there, durability wise, you know. Chain rings. So if you can't do that with your bike, then your bike is dirty. Now this is lubed as well. This is, I'm using squirt lube. Squirt lube's the best. You can use wax as well, but that seems to be a bit more work. Squirt for me. It works good enough. This is another chain I prepared. Cleaned it. You see that? Can we get a zoom in here? So my videos are real time. This is real stuff here. Real time. This is a YBN chain. Um, I'll be selling these soon on the website, doingride.com. So these are a great chain. Hard wearing and fast as well. SRAM chains are a bit slower, more resistance. These are a bit faster if you go for every watt. Here we have a cassette here. This is one of my favorite cassettes, the SRAM. It's a 10 speed. This is, I think it's 1090, and uh, yeah, it's very lightweight. This is a 28, and it says, I've been cleaning this for five years. This is five years of dirt on there, literally. This is using squirt lube since 2013. Let's chuck this in. Look, look, that's pretty clean. If this was five years of use, five years, and bit, that's pretty dirty, isn't it? Look at that. That's dirty. That is a dirty cassette. Right, so what does your cassette look like? What lube are you using? Let's chuck it in here. Now can we reuse this little container? This is some degreaser here, some uh, just you know, a bit more eco. You can also use mineral turpentine, but don't tip it down the sink. I let it evaporate. If I use it, I just have it in a thing, I let it evaporate. And in the glass jar here, you can just pour that in the cement, it'll just evaporate. You know, it's better, don't pour it in the sink. You know, fish don't want to swim in that. Don't pour it down the sink, I just put it on the on the floor here and just evaporate it. Good thing about owning your own house, isn't it? Nothing to worry about. So we'll open this bad boy up. Real time videos. Real time videos. Alright, here we go. So this is the greaser here. And uh, this is why I, lo I, I love using squirt lube. Is it, it, you don't need to use, and I can use this for a lot of cassettes by the way. And just rinse it with water. So put the lid on here so we don't knock it over. That, now what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a uh, an ultrasonic cleaning. You can use one of those ultrasonic things, you can get 50 bucks. Or you can tell this for a bit. And just flip it around, you know, and then that will just clean itself off. And then you can use a little brush. I've got a brush around here somewhere, and you give it a scrape that on. But I just generally let it sit there for 10, 20 minutes, do a few things, give it a bit of a shake around when you remember. And uh, you can put a lid on there so there's no bugs get caught in there and get de degrease. Oh, there's, a, there's a new wig in there. Shit, that new wig's getting degreased right now. Let's see if we can save him. So, unfortunately, there was an earwig in this cassette. I didn't even see him, unfortunately. And the earwig did pass away. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, I don't like killing a little. It's not, way to, not, not a good way to die anyway. Degrease. It just goes to show you, though, even though it's organic, it's still harsh. So, this is why I love using Squirt. I can rest in, rest in peace, little buddy. Yeah, he might come back. We'll put him over here and we'll check on him tomorrow. But, uh, he might come back. Come back, little buddy. This is why, you know, eco-wise, it's important to use, you know, uh, do what we can do, minimising our impact on the environment, and that's why using things like squirt lube, you know, it just, it makes sense, and it's already starting to come off a bit here, soaking on a bit more, alright, so, if you're using traditional lubes like tri-flow, etc., then this stuff just makes you, turns into, turns into black grinding paste, and also when you're cleaning it with your hands as well, you know, that's chemicals on your skin. You know, you can sort of see the back of my pants from a lot of chemical usage over the years. And riding no gloves when I was 20, you know, your hands can get really beat up. So wear gloves on your bike for some protection and do your best to use uh, lubes like squirt. Or you can even use, you know, people that are waxing their chains now with like paraffin wax. And that's a, another option as well for cleaning. So just, you're always going to be using solvents to some degree, but you can use less solvents. People say, what about olive oil? I've tried using olive oil on my chain. And all it did was turn it into a big black grinding paste and it just wears out your componentry even more so you use up even more materials. So, I mean, yes, we can OCD about it, 
but just do your best you can. Do the best you can. So squirt lube, that's my favorite. I will, we'll, I will do it after this video, this is clean. We'll do a comparison. All right, this is the finished product. You can see I haven't cleaned the leaven tooth. That's for comparison. This is, I switched to uh, some methylated spirits. So some mineral turpentine in the end. The, this just wasn't doing it quick enough. But this will be good for more of an overnight. For the, for the video's sake, this is gonna be quicker. And I can use this again and again until it evaporates. So you don't have to tip it down the sink anywhere. And what I did was the stuff before, I tipped it back in the bottle. And people are like, oh, you contaminate stuff. And it's like, nah, come on, like, this isn't jewelry here. This is cycling. So close enough is good enough. And that's the finished product. I could still probably clean it a little bit more. But yeah, that's, that's good enough. So that's how my cassettes last so long. All right. That's how my stuff lasts. So look at that. There's hardly any wear on that. That's five years old. Obviously, it's on the bamboo bike. But it's done a fair few Ks. You know? Look at that. Let's, let's actually put this down and get a little close up on it. Let's just get some better lighting going on. Okay, here's a brand new SRAM cassette. Thanks, SRAM. Um, I do love the product. This is brand new. And this is... Uh, this is obviously a different cassette, but... You can see, it's in pretty good condition. You know, it's in pretty good condition for five years old. Do you know many people have dropped on this bike? On my bamboo bike? Compared to that. So here we go, a bit of comparison there. Film this on the Samsung Note 10. Shout out to Samsung, good product. So it's in pretty good condition, isn't it? You know, let's, let's look at this. Let's compare that. There you go, look at that. Still got plenty of life left. Hold it still. Don't take too many pills before you film a YouTube video. Look at that. You know? So there you go. This is... Now, then the next question is, how do you know when your cassette's worn out? That's a good question. I said there's going to be little lips, little shark teeth on there. So there you go, gang. You seen it here, before and after. New versus used. Make your stuff last a long, long time. Use squirt lube, some paraffin wax. You're good to go. Kids, a clean bike is a fast bike. This is Squirt Lube, live here in Davron Park. This is uh, this has lasted me five years, this big bottle, five years. You know, I always give it a shake and apply it. And what I'll do as well, if, if you ever got a bottle of Squirt, it dries up, put a bit of water in there, just a few, few, you know, just a few squirts of water, give it a shake up and it goes on. And when I lube the chain, I hang the bike up somewhere and just put it down there. Then backpedal it, backpedal it. Beautiful, squirt.